Hey dude, uh, talking about some air lunges here. This is going to be a pretty gnarly uh, movement. Um, something we can load up once you get it. I find that it's kind of a really good thing for some unilateral side to side stuff. We can actually put a little bit of weight on our back here and do these if you get comfortable with it. The dumbbells and uh, kettlebells seem to work a little bit better in the early stages of this stuff. Um, what we're trying to bring out here in this unilateral work is clearly one, we want to see the imbalances side to side, but also I want to find out where the um, mobility is and where we start to break down. We're going to get a lot stronger um, and develop more quickly once we can get the mobility in the right place and then we can start working on the musculature. So this is a really solid movement to try and work on that mobility um, as well as puts it loaded up a little bit. Um, we're basically doing the opposite of a pistol. So instead of sticking our leg out to the front, we're gonna stick it out to the back. Um, what this is going to look like, we're going to be here, sitting the hips back, the knee comes back all the way down to the ground, and then up, so that weight transfer into our heel, and then straight up. Same thing on the other side, hip comes back and down. You can see my right ankle sucks, and it's a really easy way to tell where we start to break down in mobility, as well as we should be able to squat on one leg and it shouldn't be a huge problem. If that depth starts to get crazy, I can scoop this thing over so we can see those plates again. You're gonna come off and literally that leg comes back, touches that plate and up in this on my right leg, which is much poorer in the mobility range, I can come down and come up. Um, that's the air lunge. It's a tricky one, but once you get comfortable with it, it's going to help out a lot.